goodbye first. That's sweet. Hey guys, we're back at it again. This time it's Turok from 2008. I don't know what compelled them to put an MMA knife fight in this game, but God bless them. I love this sequence, even though it's just a QTE. If you don't know this game, the shaggy hair bad guy here is Kane, uh, and Mohawk Man is Turok. And I will refer to them by those names. So as you can see, the fight here starts with Kane with the knife and Turok unarmed, which is obviously a nightmare situation. No, no. So Kane enters with the reverse grip stab. Turok gets wrist control and starts feeding it into what appears to be maybe the start of a two-on-one of some kind. But Kane's offhand integration is good, and he's anticipating the defense. So he comes in right behind the thrust with a huge left hand. This is basically a tactic to overwhelm the opponent under not only the pressure of the knife, but the pressure of strikes. So Kane comes back with the reverse grip slash, misses, Turok lands a straight left. So perhaps at a moment like this, Turok could have crashed in and tried to stick to that knife-bearing limb instead of staying out in the danger zone here and, and just throwing hands. So Kane returns with the reverse grip backhand, and then they lock up. So this is knife grappling right here. This is a, obviously a fake depiction of a real thing. You look at people fighting with blades, especially short ones in real life. If you've watched any of my videos about this, you know that guys get tied up into positions like this. So Turok tries to strike his way out of the position and they trade blows. Kane hits a nice trip off of there and they ends up in top position with the knife, which is damn near the worst case scenario. You see here Turok working his way into the straight arm lock from guard. Kane defends with the pickup slam. Very effective and potentially even deadly if he was to smash Turok's head into something. But it seems like he landed on his back and now they've returned to the same position. Now here Turok is able to work his way back into the straight arm lock from guard. Uh, boom, he hits it this time, but instead of finishing the arm lock, he just strips the knife. Probably would have been better for him to take the elbow first, which would have dramatically impacted Kane's ability to fight, and then strip the knife. Anyway, so the ground position breaks apart, Kane gets his mobility back, he intercepts the swinging knife arm and goes for the spinning back elbow. Probably not the best move, seems like kind of a Hail Mary play. If you've got that wrist control, you could go for, you know, for a Kimura grip or a baseball bat two-on-one. Turning your back towards somebody in any contest means you're taking a risk. In the gym, it could mean you get tapped out or thrown or slammed or whatever. Uh, in a fight like this, it could mean that you're just dead. As you can see, we've got this back clinch position now. Truck fighting for that knife kill. Uh, Kane holding onto that knife arm because his life depends on it. He's keeping that blade out of him. So Turok chucks him away and comes in with a downward reverse grip stab. Now the positions are reversed from where they first started. Here's the finish. The downward vampire stake action. And that's about the size of it. I really enjoyed this part of Turok. I don't know who did their consulting for this or who on their team is doing MMA and knife stuff, but they did a terrific job of choreographing this scene, and it's rare to see weapons grappling like this in a game. So bravo to the devs on this one. Really good job. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Stay subscribed for the next one. I included the link to the original uh, video. Uh, I took this video from another YouTuber. Uh, I've included a link to his channel uh, in the description. And that's it for this one, guys. Stay subscribed for the next. Take it easy.